Hey, what's up? I'm Zui, and welcome to the first installment in my new series, Switch Openers. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Gateron's Oil Kings. There won't be a ton of references for sound currently, but as I expand the series, we'll be adding tons more sound tests in the exact same configuration, so get subscribed so you don't miss them. The top housing is opaque, black, and made of PA66 nylon. The bottom housing is again opaque and black, but is made of Gatoron's custom signature ink material. The stem is a regular length and expectedly black, and made of palm. You'll find Gatoron's new factory lube application is fairly thick, but more consistent than the stock lube on most switches. Oil Kings come with an unusually long 20mm stock spring, which is also coated black. These long springs give the stock Oil Kings a slow increase in force, up to their bottom out force of 80 grams, and a snappy return. Stock Oil Kings are exceptionally smooth due to Gatoron's new factory lubing process and new molds, and possess a deep and muted bottom out thanks to their bottom housings which come from the ink lineage. The return of the Oil Kings is slightly higher pitched due to their nylon makeup, but it's still a pleasant and full sound. However, these switches are by no means perfect. These springs have been the subject of some contention in the community due to their listed weight of 80 grams, with most agreeing that it doesn't feel that heavy. Personally, I found stock Oil King springs to be most comparable in feel to that of the Texi Diamonds, which are also now called the Jadeites, at 63.5 grams due to their similar length. One thing I'd like to add is that Oil Kings accommodate for using thick cherry profile keycaps, even in north-facing PCBs, because they have a scoop cut out of their top housings to avoid interference. Let me preface this by saying that Oil Kings are some of the best switches to leave completely stock. That being said, I personally elected to clean off the factory lube on the stems and recoat them with a 7-3 mix of 105 and 205 grade 0, which is a pretty thin lube. I also swapped out the very heavy stock springs with TX 45 gram longs to accentuate the almost glassy glide while retaining a satisfying return. Finally, I pretty much already liked their pitch, so I chose to use Drew Key's films to round out their sound without making them too deep. Thanks so much for sticking with me. This is just the first video in what will eventually be one of many Switch reviews. As I add videos to the playlist, hopefully you'll be able to understand how Switch's individual parts, so their top and bottom and stem and everything, contribute to their feel and sound, and make better choices to find Switches that you enjoy for yourself. You can expect future videos to be slightly shorter, as I won't be adding these talking head intro and outro segments to them. Additionally, as I exhaust my current selection of Switches, the ones that I currently own, I'll probably cut them all together into one big sound test compilation so that you can easily side by side them. They will all be in the exact same keyboard, in the same key, in the same configuration. Um, for transparency's sake, that is a Phantom with a 30A gummy O-ring and the FR4 plate with DCS caps. See you around and thanks again for watching. I accidentally I accidentally opened up uh, GeForce experience. <laughs> oh my god.